we will show you the diligence GPT platform functionality in the context of our users supporting private equity diligence of a mid-market manufacturing company. Let's begin by logging into our diligence GPT platform. Upon login, you're directed to the file upload page. For today's demo, we've uploaded operational, financial, and other relevant data of a public company as a placeholder. You can download 10, 20, 30 files that, that you would typically receive as part of the transaction analysis. Once the files are uploaded, the platform immediately begins processing and starts generating analysis based on the problem-solving orchestration programming we've built into the a &M engine. On the left-hand side, we have analysis trees and sub-analysis trees. So in this context of an operational diligence, we will focus on things like safety, quality, delivery, sourcing, and then some other analysis related to the operational diligence. You will also find other features related to uh, initial point of view, and there are several data analysis features which provide benchmarking, financial insights, and trend analysis. Let's jump into generating an analysis. Let's evaluate the cost trends related to the company based on information that was uploaded earlier. Underlying this question, we have built a series of smaller questions. We've also built uh, several if this, then that, based on the KPI combination and permutations, and that sort of information extraction, as well as a PE chain of thought analysis, which comes through a and knowledge base and pattern recognition programming to generate this response. So for example, in this case, it's evaluating the EBTA margin evolution, and it points out that in 2019, the margin was 12%, which dipped to 9%, and it also tells you the very specific reason why that margin dip. In this case, it's because of pandemic and supply chain disruptions. And then it describes how the company managed to recover in 2021, and with very specific information, as well as the projected EBT margin, which indicates a positive outlook. Now, imagine that you'd like to do a deeper dive here with related to challenges faced during pandemic. So in this case, you can do deeper drill down and you can say on the right hand side, we have a search functionality. We can say describe pandemic related challenges, uh, pandemic related impact on sales. And it will go through the different files and you start finding all of the information related to pandemic impact on sales. And this gives you a, a way of interactive analysis that our users conduct to get to the red flag and the yellow flag and the green flag sort of analysis. And the platform saves the, the, a lot of time and enables our users to focus more on the complex problem solving. And in this case, obviously, the year 2020 uh, is an area that, that they need to focus on a little bit more. It then describes the different breakdown of the EBTA margin and so forth. So this is a good example of how the platform evaluates information in the same way that we would expect a private equity focused analyst to evaluate. Another feature is view source, which provides a citation and will show you exactly where the information is being retrieved from, which is a critical requirement for our analysts. The platform incorporates reinforced learning through human feedback. Thumbs up, thumbs down icons help refine the training as well as accuracy over time. I'd like to now show the initial point of view feature, which provides a quick quantitative analysis of sales, headcount, and vendor information. So in this case, Based on the information uploaded in the doc in the platform, the diligence GPT platform can quickly summarize relevant information related to sales. But not only that, it provides you the story behind the numbers and and provides you detailed narrative behind what happened. And this is this is something that that uh, our analysts love because you can easily get the details and the graphs and charts in micro in uh, Excel and Power BI. But the story behind the number, which also very important, which the R tool is able to, uh, to drive. A headcount uh, analysis as well as spend cube analysis, as well as all of the details behind it. Our platform adopts a what, so what, now what approach, allowing you to dig deeper into operational issues identified and generate uh, implications as well as remediation. So let's, let's look at delivery footprint in this case. So in this case, based on all of the analysis trees, as well as our pattern recognition, the platform knows to focus on specific areas on delivery footprint. In this case, manufacturing and logistics, and identify certain inform information that's helpful for analysis, as well as production layer and material flow. 
Now, based on this information, we have trained our platform to start identifying some issues to help our users drill deep, deeper. In this case, there's two or three issues that potential issues that the platform identifies. And based on those issues, we can do a further drill down and help our users perform an interactive analysis related to implications, remediations, and potential remediation projects. So this gives you a very high level overview of the platform's functionality. There's a lot more features we have built into the platform and we continue to evolve the platform as the generative AI technology continues to evolve on a daily and weekly basis. And, and within minutes of uploading the documents, our platform can read information across multiple files and provide the basic data gathering and initial analysis to help our users spend more of their time on complex problem solving and increase the value of what they deliver 